from her work on stage and television, please give a warm welcome to Mary Lou Henner. Oh, thank you, thank you. And welcome to America's Ballroom Challenge. I'm your host, Mary Lou Henner. Do you know that every year, thousands of dancers come to Columbus, Ohio to compete in the world's largest ballroom dancing competition. They all have the same goal, to be the best they can be. Well, our spotlight will be on the best of the best, the top six professional couples in each of the four major dance styles. They'll compete for titles in the American Smooth and Rhythm Divisions, as well as the International Latin and Standard. And then, for the first time ever, those four champions will face off against each other, and only one will be named America's Best Ballroom Couple. So stay with us, because America's Ballroom Challenge starts right now. And welcome once again to America's Ballroom Challenge. We're coming to you tonight from the Greater Columbus Convention Center in the heart of Ohio, where the crowd is still streaming in for what promises to be an exciting evening of dancing. And while the dancers are straightening their bow ties and strapping on their heels, let me take a moment to introduce our very own dance expert, Tony Meredith. Tony is a former U.S. Latin champion, a choreographer and coach with a studio in New York City, and a judge for ballroom competitions around the world. He's here to provide the insider's perspective on the dancing we're going to see tonight. So welcome, Tony. Well, thank you, Mary Lou. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, I understand you have a dancing background. I do. I do. My mother taught dancing. We all taught dancing in a studio that my father built in our garage, and she specialized in ballroom. So this is like coming home for me. Well, welcome home. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, now, as I understand it, tonight's events are the culmination of a week of intense competition. That's right. All the couples here tonight had to advance through preliminary, quarterfinal, and semifinal rounds just to reach this point. We'll pick up the action with the final rounds, the top six couples in each of the four major dance styles, starting with the professional American Smooth Division. Let's welcome our finalists from Nashville, Tennessee, couple 125, Ben Hermes and Shalene Archer Hermes. From Wilmington, Delaware, number 149, Mazam Hamza and Irina Sarukanyan. From Mission Viejo, California, number 194, Hunter and Maria Johnson. From San Francisco, California, number 229, David and Valentina Wise. From West New York, New Jersey, number 240, David Rosario and Olga Barashikina. And from Stamford, Connecticut, number 288, Stephen Darty and Yulia Baranowski. So in this first stage of competition, all six couples will be on the floor at the same time, right? It'll be kind of a, a group dance. That's right. They'll do the four dances in the American Smooth category. The Waltz, Tango, Foxtrot, and the Viennese Waltz. Places, couples. Waltz music, please. And the three top couples after the group dance will then get a chance to perform a show dance with all eyes on them alone. The combined scores from the group rounds and the show dances will determine the American Smooth Champion. Ben Ermes and Shailene Archer Ermes. And this couple moves with absolute power, strength, control, and commitment. They definitely are contenders for this evening's event. Mazen Hamza, 149, doing a single-legged standing spin. So a nice round of applause for our finalists. Ladies. These two move with such beautiful control, and she's got such an exotic look to her. top competitors in this field and they would definitely be contenders for this spot tonight. Look at the flexibility in Maria's back, just amazing. A little bit of floor craft problems, but they're right back into connection. Hmm. Oh. oh, that was beautiful. Ending in a beautiful split, maintaining the line as long as they possibly can. And places once again, couples, tango. 
Music, please. Now this is going to be dramatic. Yulia Bronofsky here, really demanding the floor as she travels down the line of dance. Steve showing her off beautifully. Wow. David and Valentina. I love this. Awesome couple. Oh, these couples are ready. Slight misconnection, but they're right back into it. She's still showing the drama of the dance. David and Olga certainly maintain a very good top line contenders for this evening's performance. They will be one of the, possibly one of the top couples this evening. And going into close hold, as you can see, doing Vini's crosses down the line of dance, a couple of telemarks. They're Is really there working a time the floor. Um, element there where they have to get back together after a certain amount of time apart? No, not really, but you know, the percentage of quality of dance position, that's what really makes it interesting is the percentage of how a well-balanced routine is put together. This open work and then dance position is Ben and Shailene are obviously just playing right here as they travel down the line into an open position. Those hand connections are so important. They're slick, they're quick, and they're back together. And place this couples once again. Foxtrot. And music, please. Foxtrot, in, in its basic form, is very simple to learn. It only requires slows and quicks, and it's just like walking. Of course, when you get to this level, you're talking about a much higher level of dancing and quality. They make this step look a lot more like Fred and Ginger. And you know what else I think it is about the Foxtrot? Because it's slow, quick, quick, slow, quick. It's like a good rhythm for people to get into their heads. Yep, exactly. You know, so Sing a song for the broken hearted. Hunter and Maria again right here doing a standing spin as they David and Valentina. Look at the sweeping actions, the control. You know, they're such a handsome couple together. You're gonna hear my voice. I shout it out loud. It's my life, and it's now or never. Ain't gonna live forever I just wanna live while I'm alive It's my life My heart's an open highway Frank said it, I did it my way Just wanna live while Steve and Yulia just performing their hearts out. Looks fantastic. And the Foxtrot. Thank you, competitors. Who's your favorite couple out there, ladies and gentlemen? And we invite you to take your places once again, couples. Your final dance, Viennese Wolves. And music, please. You can see all the couples preparing to get ready. Some of them take a bow in the beginning. Irina doing a spin there. does it take per routine? Oh, per practice. routine, I mean, my gosh, you know, On the average, these couples we'll probably say. practice six to seven hours a day. Besides going to the gym, staying fit, it might take an hour or so to put the routine together, but you'll spend the rest of your, the rest of your life learning how to do it correctly. Let's have a nice round of applause for our finalists, ladies and gentlemen. Irina really giving it her all in these spins. Irina doing this spin. Mazza just twirling her. The bent, you know, the, that center of balance is so crucial and exiting with a What's beautiful transition. What's the name transition. of that spin? Just a standing foot spin. Thank you, competitors. Wow, that was terrific dancing. It's so romantic.
I can see why people get attached to this American smooth style. Oh, it's wonderful to watch. Great music, flowing ball gowns, and the romance of touch dancing. What's not to like? <laughs> oh, well, the scores for this division have been tallied, so let's see what the judges thought of these couples. And remember, only the top three couples will advance to the next phase, the show dances, which we'll be seeing in our second hour. Our sixth place finalists. From West New York, New Jersey, couple 240, David Rosario and Olga Barashikina. Well, that probably wasn't the best result for them tonight. They've done a lot better in other competitions. Our fifth place finalists. From Stamford, Connecticut, number 288, Stephen Darty and Yulia Baranovsky. Well, very good for them. They've actually moved up a notch and they're doing extremely well. Our fourth place finalists. From Wilmington, Delaware, number 149, Mazam Hamza and Arena Sarukanyan. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our top three couples of our Open Professional American Smooth Championship. In third position, from Mission Viejo, California, number 194, Hunter and Maria Johnson. And ladies and gentlemen, our runners-up. From San Francisco, California, number 229, David and Valentina Wise. And ladies and gentlemen, from Nashville, Tennessee, couple 125, Ben Ermis and Shaleen Archer Ermis. Well, there you have it. Ben and Shaleen Ermis finished first. They were strong in all four dances. David and Valentina Weiss and Hunter and Maria Johnson took the final spot. In the second hour of America's Ballroom Challenge, we'll see these three couples compete again for the American Smooth Championship and a chance to be named America's Best Ballroom Couple. But first, we'll take a break from the competition for an exhibition featuring two stars from one of Ballroom's Pro-Am divisions. Okay, now tell us about Pro-Am, Tony. Well, Ballroom dancers don't just start off competing against the professionals like the ones we've seen tonight. They begin in the amateur ranks and they work their way up. For many dancers, the second step is Pro-Am, where each couple consists of an amateur and his or her professional teacher. However, the level of dancing is quite high. This time is the World International Latin Pro-Am champions David Oliveri and Diana McDonald. David is the student and Diana his teacher. Have you ever been in competition with her? Oh yeah, she was one of my toughest competitors. <laughs> a wonderful person and a great dancer. Well, Diana and David will be performing a rumba cha-cha medley. Diana won 14 U.S. and one world title in her long competitive career with her husband, Gary McDonald. David's been training with her for about nine years and has won many pro competitions. After this one, he'll turn pro, finding a professional partner and starting to teach. Oh, they just changed the mood on that. Actually, I've known David for a long time, and he's actually been training. You can just see the level of improvement in him from foot to foot, his timing, his, his lead. trusted him on that. She just threw herself straight back, trusting that he would be there. Ooh, and he was. Tough. And ladies and gentlemen, David Oliveri and Diana McDonald, uh, World of Pro-Am International Latin Champions. They obviously just love to dance. And David is quite the showman. Thank oh, you. dancing is in him. And he has an excellent teacher, a former United States champion, and a terrific Pro-Am couple giving us a great routine. Well, now we turn to the next phase of the competition, the group finals in the American Rhythm Division. The couples are backstage waiting to be announced. Like the competitors in the Smooth Division, these couples have survived three rounds of competition just to get this far. 
They'll be performing five dances, the cha-cha, rumba, swing, bolero, and mambo. Let's welcome our finalist to the dance floor. From Neptune, New Jersey, couple 106, Gleb Makarov and Meiling Hutchins. From Englewood, New Jersey, couple 140, Felipe and Carolina Telona. From New York, New York, couple 141, Emmanuel Pierre Antoine and Joanna Zakarowicz. From Buffalo Grove, Illinois, number 179, Jesse DeSoto and Jackie Josephs. From Bedford Hills, New York, couple 300, Tony Dovolani and Elena Granenko. And from Boca Raton, Florida, couple 333, Michael Neal and Danielle Wilson. Cheer your favorite couples on, ladies and gentlemen, as our competitors take their places for their first dance. Cha-cha and music clues. Okay, here we go. Gleb and Mei Ling starting out with a very explosive entrance to this cha-cha. Nice connections from them. Nice leg action. They have great proportions, this couple. Yeah. They actually play off one another really well. He's really known for a lot of his dynamic lines. Michael Neal and Daniela showing some really fast syncopated movements and hip twists. Look at those hip twists. You gotta be confident to be wearing that outfit. Oh yeah. She is doing some bunch of kind of backwards. Couples. Emmanuel just lead her amazingly. She's got so much dynamic energy. Ooh. And the cha cha. Thank you, competitors. <laughs> and places once again, couples, your next dance the Roomba. And music, please. Carolina Felipe, another hot, challenging couple for this evening. Who's your favorite couple out there, ladies and gentlemen? And places couples once again. Your third dance, swing. And music, please. Carolina Felipe in that red costume right there. Number 140. Wow. Now she's had a lot of belly training. Oh but yeah, you can see, you can see her lines. She's so fun. She's right there to love me. People come and make her come shine. But I love her, no you love her, cause I love her. Do you hear? I said no. Levin May Ling again. They're looking great. She makes me feel so good. Like a young man should. She never makes me cry. Whoa, look at that split of Joanna right between the legs. That didn't stop them at all. Gleb is still pumping away. Yeah. And, and while you're on the floor, you're constantly trying to figure out where the other couples are. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're maneuvering. Floorcraft is an important skill here. And the swing. Thank you, competitors. Who's your favorite couple, ladies and gentlemen? The next dance is really one of the slowest dances, which is called the bolero. Oh, yes. And the level music plays. Sensuality and the slow ones. Oh yeah, she's getting right into the mood. Me, 
Bésame mucho Como si fuera esta noche A little floor sleep into a basic action Oh, they are Whoa. hot Bésame Whoa well, that was a little challenging, you know. Some of the rules, actually, that was okay because you're not supposed to be off the floor more than oh, one really? beat. Yeah. So I think they made that one okay, but that was very interesting. Tony and Elena. You know, and I can imagine that these couples, when they dance in front of the judges, they want to make sure that when a judge is really watching them, that their best step is happening. Oh, absolutely. And remember, only the top three couples will advance to the next phase, the show dances. And the Valero. Thank you, competitors. Let's hear it for our American Rhythm finalists, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, competitors. And places couples once again, your final dance, Mambo, and music please. Emmanuel and Joanna are so great at this. They won the U.S. World Mambo Championships. How long have they been uh, dancing together? Well, you know, they've been practicing together for about four years, but they've only been dancing like a couple of months. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. And in that short know. time, Look at that. Oh. She is so cute. And there's such a, a, a chemistry between the two of them. Yeah, it looks like she loves dancing. Well, so does he. He's quite a showman. Carolina Felipe. Actually, they're great at Mambo as well. I mean, it's going to be a tough one just to decide who is going to win the Mambo. They are so full of energy. Whoa. Who's your favorite couple, ladies and gentlemen? Let them know you're out there now. Whoa. <laughs> Jesse and Jackie pulling it out here. Whoa. Jumping into a mambo break. Mm. Whoops. Maybe a little missing that split there. Ladies and gentlemen, our Open Professional American Rhythm Championship finalists. What a finish. All these couples have so much energy. Energy in the fast dances and sensuality in the slope. That combination is what makes American Rhythm Division so challenging and so much fun to watch. And the results are as follows. Our sixth place finalists. From Florida, couple 333, three, three, Michael Neal and Danielle Wilson. Our fifth place finalists. From New York, couple 141, one, Emmanuel Pierre Antoine and Joanna Zakarowicz. And remember, only the top three couples will advance to the show dances. Our fourth place finalists. From New Jersey, number 106, Gleb Makarov and Mayling Hutchins. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, our top three couples for the Professional American Rhythm event. In third position, from Illinois, number 179, Jesse DeSoto and Jackie Josephs. My home state couple. They came in third, so we'll be seeing them again. And our runners up from New Jersey, number 140, Felipe and Carolina Telona. And ladies and gentlemen, from Bedford Hills, New York, couple 300, Tony Dovolani and Elena Granenko. Oh, well, there you have it. Tony and Elena are in first place. I mean, the judges like them best. These couples will now go backstage to rest, regroup, and get ready for their show dance solos, which will be seen in our second hour. And while we wait for the next competition to begin, let's see an exhibition by another pro-am couple, this time in the American rhythm style. 
Our performers are the World Pro-Am American Rhythm Champions Steve Vasco and Catherine Lim of Campbell, California. Steve's been dancing professionally for 12 years. He's also a choreographer, a coach, and has been involved in many film and television projects. Catherine started dancing full-time four years ago. They've been partners for the last few years, and Catherine has no trouble keeping up with her professional partner. And check out that footwork as they go from one side to the next. Huh. How about that little tattoo she has? <laughs> that adds to the spice of the whole character. Look at the isolations happening in her body. She's right with him. Whoa! Little crowd pleaser there. <laughs> she did great. Catherine Lynn. Oh, that was and fantastic. I mean, I know they hold the world title, but but even so, it must be such a thrill for this pro am couple to perform on a stage like this. Absolutely. What's great about Pro Am is that being paired with their teacher really raises the level of the student's performance. And speaking of professionals, this next group of competitors is ready to take the floor. The International Standard Division is next. Let's welcome our finalists to the dance floor, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome from East Brunswick, New Jersey, couple 119, Gary and Rita Geckman. The International Standard is classic ballroom, the epitome of grace and formality. New Jersey, number 122, Igor Litvinov and Yulia Ivleva. Once again, we'll have six couples in the final, and all of these dancers made it through three elimination rounds to get this far. Couple 142, Tomasa Kotsevicius and Ira Bavnelite. Oh, and they'll be performing five dances. The waltz, the tango, Viennese waltz, foxtrot, and quicksand. From Houston, Texas, number 254, Eddie Stutz and Victoria Belova. From Sarasota, Florida, number 318, Anton and Lena Kokoreko. And from New York, New York, a couple 376, Erminio Stefano and Leone Apali. And place as competitors, your first dance is waltz. Music, please. Now you notice in the international style, the performers must stay in closed dance position. The couples must remain in close contact throughout, in contrast to the more open style we saw in the American Smooth. Both styles are beautiful, but they do require different skills. Tomas and Ira. Now I think a lot of people watching this will wonder why the women have to stay so arched back and that the couple never looks in each other's eyes. Why is that? Well, you know, they're actually counterbalancing each other. Because they're in closed dance position, that's really the center of balance is right between them. There are times and moments when her head will shift to the right and shape back to the left. It's really all about following the man's frame. Eddie and Victoria doing a couple changes, some beautiful sways shaping. Into a throwaway oversway. It's so funny because you can watch the uh, Latin dancing and it's so sexy. And this has such romance to it. And the waltz. Thank you, competitors. And places once again, couples. Tango. Oh, Next this is my tango. favorite of yeah, all. Yeah, this is one of my favorites, too. This is so dramatic. What makes it so incredible is that the sharp, strong staccato movement. And it, Herminio is especially great at this dance. This is probably one of his strongest dances. Look at the quickness in the feet, the grounding, the compression as he moves from foot to foot. And Liane is right there with him. Very sharp directions, head left, head right. And they don't get whiplash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Oh. There's Anton and Lena, 318. Those sharp head movements. It's really challenging because, you know, you might have your routine, but you've got to really follow what the man leads. You know, he's assessing exactly where is the space in the room to go. Is the man responsible for where the, where the couple moves? It's totally the man's responsibility. Wow. There's Rita and Gary. They are another fantastic couple. And this is a good dance for them as well. Who's your favorite couple, ladies and gentlemen? And places couples once again. Viennese walls. And music, please. Igor and Yulia demonstrating the Viennese waltz. What makes this dance so great is it's there's really only three steps that are involved in this in this dance. Natural turns, reverse turns, and it usually is danced towards the outside edge of the ballroom. So you really get a chance to, to look at the couples individually and see their swing and their stride, how they use their footwork. It's a nice round of applause for our finalists, ladies and gentlemen. pretty strong tonight. So who's your favorite couple out there, ladies and gentlemen? And Slow Foxtrot, using clues. Foxtrot comes in many tempos, but uh, the international standard version of it is Slow Foxtrot. And it's built around timings of slows and quicks. One look at you. Quick, quick, slow. Demonstrating some beautiful, beautiful feather steps. Sugar in my coffee cup. Sweetness in my wine. Whoa, see, there's that floor cap. I'm surprised that doesn't happen a lot more often. I was saying this is like bumper cars in chiffon. <laughs> When you walk in my front door, the lemon tree cries. It can't compare with the love you've got. It's like floating. Oh, this is, oh, a, yeah. this is beautiful. Whoa, a little bit more floor craft problems there, and Hermenio handles it well. They regain dance position, and not a problem. I'll die getting by. Honey, honey. And the Foxtrot. Thank you, competitors. Thank you, competitors. Cheer your favorite couples on, ladies and gentlemen, as our finalists take their places for their fifth and final dance, Quick Step. And music, please. This is fun. Igor and Yulia kicking it off with some hops, skips, and jumps across the long side of the floor. When I hear a band blowing bassy, I can count on losing my cool. Take me where the rhythm is racy. Let me be a dancing fool. Some prefer the cat. 
These chasse's locks change of directions. That's what makes it so interesting. The, the quick change of directions, the chasse's natural turns. To be able to read the floor to make sure that you don't crash and be able to change your step, mid step, lead it, and the girl follows. When that cooler starts in a scatting, but I've got Bob, just give me a chance and my tuxedo pants and presto, I'm a dancing fool. Now they're sweating. <laughs> Here they go. I think people could give up every other form of exercise and just dance. Ladies and gentlemen, our Open Professional International Standard Championship finalists. Whew, now that's ball of death. I could watch performances like this all night. I mean, that quick step, it's so aerobic. It is such a workout. That's for sure. It's very demanding. You know, International Standard is the oldest style of ballroom dancing, but it's never lost its appeal. It's just so elegant. People never tire of seeing it or doing it. <laughs> well, I can see why. Well, the judges have tallied their scores, so let's see how the six couples did. Our sixth place finalists. From Texas, number 254, Eddie Stutz and Victoria Belova. Our fifth place finalists. From Florida, number 318, Anton and Lena Kukareko. Our fourth place finalists. From New Jersey, couple 119, Gary and Rita Geckman. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our top three couples of our Open Professional International Standard Championship. In third position, from California, couple 142, Tomasa Kosovicius and Ira Bagnelite. Okay, here's one of the couples that's going to join us for the show dance. Oh, yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, our runners up. From New Jersey, couple 122, uh, Igor Litvinov and Yulia Ivaleva. And ladies and gentlemen, from New York, number 376, Arminio Stefano and Leone Apali. These top three couples will go on to perform show dances in our next hour, with the winner advancing to compete in our grand finale. But first, we have another exhibition by another pro-am couple. So who's going to dazzle us this time, Tony? Igor Suvorov and Derek Campbell. They've been the world champions in the pro-am international standard division for three years running, a budding dynasty. Actually, Dara's been competing with Igor for, for about three years and trained with him a year before she even entered a competition. You know, Igor is really a top professional and has, has won many championships, including the Russian and British Rising Star Championships. professionals here. This lift looks incredible as he gently sets her down and makes a wonderful presentation. Derek Campbell and Igor Suvorov. Thank you. Well, it's time for us to get back to the competition and the last of our group finals, the International Latin Division. 
So what can we expect here? In this, we can expect high energy, syncopations, gyrations, flirtations. <laughs> These dancers are going to burn up the floor. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we proceed with the final round of our Open Professional International Latin Championship. The couples must perform five dances. Cha-cha, samba, rumba, pasta doble, and last, and most demanding, the jive. From Fords, New Jersey, couple 132, Andre Gavriline and Elena Kuchkova. Oh, these are the two to watch tonight, the current two-time United States champions. From Upper Montclair, New Jersey, couple 198, Ilya Iframov and Nadia Golina. Ilya and Nadia, they're another very top couple. From Canada, couple 225, Andre Paramanov and Natalie. Well, Andre and Natalie, they are definitely two show-type people. Oh, yeah, you can tell just from the way she from walked out. From New York, New York, couple 310, Pavel Kovalev and Anna Garner. Oh, this girl is world-class. From Astoria, New York, couple 340, Delian Terziev and Boriana Delcheva. This couple oh, is so beautiful. exotic, glamorous. And from Somerville, New Jersey, number 342, Max Kajepnikov and Yulia Zagorovichenko. Again, one of the strongest couples in the division tonight. These couples will be hot. International Latin is one of the sexiest dance styles, as you can tell from the outfits the dancers are wearing. Are almost wearing. <laughs> and places, couples. Your first dance is cha-cha. Music, please. Sasha and Anna right there in the back, starting off. Max and Yulia preparing to move. See those straight legs as she moves. Ooh, and some quick actions instantly. They like, I love how they change the dynamics of movement so quick. Yeah, again, she's world class as well. And he frames her beautifully. Look at the way she turns, twirls. Anna. Ooh, they're all over the place. This top couple has such a great partnering partnership. Look at the connections between them. They use very strong man and woman technique. When we swear, I go Ilya and Nadia, bright yellow, turning it on in all electricity tonight. Gives you lots of different rhythm changes. Ooh, lots of different oh, positions. They are tight. Their positions are so great together. Very strong couple. Andre and Natalie. But I'll tell you something, I would have a hard time picking the best of this group because they're all strong. Gotcha. All these couples got here because they have impeccable technique, so it's going to be a tough judging. Gracious, once again, couples, your next dance, Samba. And music, please. Here we go. Andre and Lena starting off this Samba with some bolted actions around, using a very pulsing action. I'll tell you, I really noticed the men more in this competition. And I don't know why that is, but I'm, they're well, moving more or something. Yes, they're moving much more, especially in this dance, they're using much more of their pelvis, and their posture is what's really key in this. Alignment is probably one of the most important factors of it. But allow it. Dillian and Boriana doing a great job with connections. Pasha and Anna. This girl has one of the most rhythmical bodies. And Pasha, well, he doesn't stop moving either. He frames her beautifully. Into what we call these rolls. Samba. Who's your favorite couple out there, ladies and gentlemen? I think the crowd loves being able to yell out their favorite numbers. Oh, yeah, they participate, and, you know, it can make a difference in the judging. And places once again, couples, your third dance, Roomba. Music, please. We slow the pace down a little bit here. Max and Yulia, he's inviting her 
to dance. And if you'll notice her legs and feet from foot to foot, this girl is pure class. She just lives the rumba. And the speed and the stillness that they create is just magnificent. Natalie and Andre creating some different movements here. Different approach to the rumba. Again, doing some very show, show tricks, show moves. Oops, a little bit of a misconnection on that one, but they've regained. Ilya and Nadia. Keeping it close. Connections play such a big part of this. You know, the hand hold, the, the man has, must have control of the hand at all times. And get ready now for the next dance. It's going to be the Paso Doble. Oh, the Paso Doble. I love that. This, to me, is one the of the most dramatic. The man is the bullfighter, the woman's the cape, right? That's right, that's <laughs> right. This is once again, couples. Paso Doble. And music, please. Gillian and Boreano. Taking that first connection in tension. Portraying a great posture over here, that standing leap, creating shapes and drama with their sh connection between the two of them. There's the champions, Andre and Lena, looking amazing tonight. I saw them in the earlier rounds, and they were just brilliant, and they're maintaining the quality and style tonight. Oh, there they go into some flamenco, which is a very another important part of the Paso Doble. And back to dance position, we call these twists, where he's actually caping her. Paso Doble. They're all doing absolutely incredible tonight. Who's your favorite couple out there? This is your last chance to cheer your favorite couple on, ladies and gentlemen, as our competitors take their places for Jive. Here we go, the last and most demanding. It's so cruel, they always pick the most energetic la number last. <laughs> well, that's part of the competition. Pasha and Anna getting ready to pump it out. Oh, they're right into it. Yeah, look at them. They are on tonight. They're dancing so well. And Ilya and Nadia as well. I think everybody looks awesome tonight. All these couples are strong. Sometimes I just want to go like five, six, seven. I just want to count with the music. I just get so excited about it all. Andre and Natalie just kicking out a little bit of show action there. That's a simple spin, believe it or not. How, that's not very simple, is it? Well, they're keeping up the energy pretty good tonight. I think they're doing an awesome job. Andre and Lena keeping it alive. The U.S. champions, number one. What's that number? 132. There they are. Another great couple. Absolutely a lot of charisma in this couple. 
Her legs and her feet are absolutely incredible. And the way he frames her, that's actually a match made in heaven. Ladies and gentlemen, our Open Professional International Latin Championship finalists. Oh, listen to this crowd. I mean, they loved it. And no wonder. I mean, these couples, they sizzled. They sure did. Great energy, creative choreography, and lots of sex appeal. The costumes seem to be getting slinkier every year. <laughs> now, you were a top competitor in this Latin style, so I know that you have some thoughts on which of these couples were the strongest. Well, these are the best Latin dancers in North America. They were all very strong. But I've got to put my money on Andre and Lena. I think everything went right for them tonight. A well-balanced couple giving us great routines. Well, let's see how the judges rank them. Our sixth place finalists. From Astoria, New York, couple 340, Delian Terziev and Boriana Delcheva. Whoa, well, there's an interesting result. Our fifth place finalists. From New York, a couple 310, Pavel Kovalev and Anna Garnis. Okay, well, the crowd sort of disagrees with that result, that's for sure. Well, this has been the most you controversial could... reaction we've had tonight. Our fourth place finalists. From Upper Montclair, New Jersey, number 198, Ilya Iframov and Nadia Golina. Ilya and Nadia. Ladies and gentlemen, our top three couples of our Open Professional International Latin Championship. In third position, from Canada, couple 225, Andre Paramanov and Natalie. And our runners up. From Somerville, New Jersey, number 342, Max Kajepnikov and Yulia Zagorovichenko. And ladies and gentlemen, from Forge, New Jersey, couple 132, Andre Gabriline and Elena Kuchkova. There are the results. Grabbing first place, Andre and Elena. Taking second place, Max and Yulia. And finishing third, Andre Paramov and Natalie. These three couples will move on to the show dance competition in our next hour. But before we go, let's take a moment to recap where we are in the competition. From the original 24 couples, we're now down to 12, the top three in each of the four styles of dancing. And the best is yet to come. Next time on America's Ballroom Challenge, these fabulous dancers will face off in the show dance competition, where each couple performs one last pull out all the stop solo. We'll crown winners in the American Smooth, American Rhythm, International Standard, and the International Latin Divisions. And then, for the first time ever, those four champions will compete across dance styles in a Best of Show Grand Finale. Only one can be chosen America's Best. It's going to be amazing, so please be sure to join us for the conclusion of America's Ballroom Challenge right here on PBS. Until then, I'm Mary Lou Henner with Tony Meredith saying good night and keep dancing, America.